record. Hi, Oliver. Good morning. This is Screamers from uh, Retro Dragon. But uh, we've met at DeLorean shows before since Tony and I have an 81. And um, I just wanted to talk to fans about your car. It's uh, Back to the Future, totally retro. And you, you built all this yourself. I remember reading about it. We did. My wife, Terry, and I um, were big fans of the movie. And, and uh, in 2001, we, we bought the DeLorean. Uh, it's a 1982 car. And we turned it into a time machine. How long did it take? Well, we bought it in 2001 and we're still working on it. So <laughs> we're still doing things to it constantly. So it's constantly something. So what did you do first? You do the interior or the exterior? The very first thing was a little alarm clock. If, if you know the movie, Doc oh, gives yeah, him a little yeah. brass alarm clock. That's the one that's sitting right there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we went from there. I, I was, uh, it took about a year to do a lot of research and collecting parts and pieces to, to get a lot of the, the big things together. Now did you, uh, I mean, uh, with me, whenever it's costumes, I usually pay someone to do it. Did you do all the work yourself? or? I would say 99%. We, we have a friend in France who helped me with the, the really sophisticated electronics of the time circuit display. And they, they're fully functional and they work. But that was a little bit beyond what I was able to do. He's got a, an electronics I certificate that. degree and, and everything. Whenever we were at the DeLorean show in Gettysburg, you could actually twist it and the time circuits would turn on. And the keypad works. You can yeah. And you can even enter the dates and everything. Yeah. I, re I remember that uh, at the time you put in, I said 1971, the year I was born, and it actually punched up. Yeah, so that's amazing. It's fun. And so what a, what's the future project with it that you said you haven't finished yet? Hmm, let's see. Well, uh, well, we're constantly maintaining things too. We, we've got fog that comes out of the back, theatrical fog. Oh, seriously? But, but right now it's, it's uh, needing some maintenance, so we need to work on that. So, uh, and, just always making improvements, little improvements, making it more comfortable for ourselves because we, we travel a lot yeah. in the car and uh, just so, creature comforts. Uh, when you say travel, Tony and I was talking about that. Um, like whenever you're going to like one of the DeLorean shows, like the Gettysburg show or even this show here, you guys literally drive it, you don't like haul it or anything? No, no, we only hauled it once and that was to uh, San Francisco. And that's basically because we didn't have enough time to drive it ourselves. So we had the car sent ahead of us, and we flew in for the, uh, the appearance. If you don't mind me asking, where are you guys from? We're, we, our base is in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. So it, it wasn't too bad of a drive car this time, not compared to some of the other drives. No, it was nine or ten hours, something like that. But we, I love driving. This is That's the fun part of it. That's why I don't haul it, because it's more fun to drive a DeLorean yeah. than haul a DeLorean. So, um, I, I know there's a lot of road regulations. People say that sometimes they won't let you drive it with certain things. Does any of this pop off, or do, has any of the cops ever said anything? It's, it's completely street legal. We built it to be roadworthy and, and totally legal to drive on the highways. Okay, the reason why I ask, I have a friend that's trying to convert his, my friend Tom, you know him too. Yes. And um, I was wondering if there was any kind of, you know, with the ducks in the back or Mr. Fusion or anything? And we, we've compensated for some of our blocked visual, you know, uh, by adding a, a rear view camera. Oh, okay. So we, we can pretty much see all around the car. I've, I've replaced the side mirrors with some curved mirrors. So we have really great visibility, better than a, a standard DeLorean's mirrors. Oh, now that is that's something I never would have known. It's amazing. Anyhow, until next time, retro fans, this is Screamer saying, keep it real. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.
Uh, yeah, but there, he had gotten clearance for Verizon and AT&T and everything, so he doesn't have to pay for anything because he's protecting everybody. Yeah, he's protecting them. But what do he go out of college? Uh, sometimes, it depends on what he has to do and who he's going for. And are they going to design his boat now? Well, he has a boat right now. It's in the shop. He's um, tuning it up for you know, the year 2012 to get ready for the zombies. I think he's on his game. Get some zombie repellent. Exactly. He's got shark repellent. I'm sure Batman and Robin are working on that too. I also heard that he's going to get rid of bombs, but sometimes he just can't get rid of a bomb. Well, he, he tries. He tries. I, he, he actually gave me a picture of him throwing the bomb, and, and he's still here, so he must have gotten rid of it. Yeah, this is Squidward coming at you from Retro Flashbacks and I'll talk to you.